administration director. So um, I'm head of the central administration. Okay. Um, I'm just, uh, well, my uh, boss is uh, the mayor. So uh, yes. I, I uh, well, I'm the head of the cent central administration. And then you report to the, the city mayor. Yes. 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 Um, but originally, I thought I might be meeting with her, but I'm very, very grateful that you're here to talk to me. I'm sure she's very busy. Yeah, she is. Um, we, you know, uh, we have had some some difficulties with the uh, with, with the crime uh, in this city. So, so uh, well, her schedules have changed twice uh, mm -hmm. during the weekend. So because she's I, so I busy. I don't know where she is now. No, right of course. Now, but but uh, I think she's with the officials who try to uh, find. And new ways to um, prevent the crimes that mm. has, that, that that has been, been um, uh, happening reporting. here in Olu. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And talking about those crimes here in Olu, um, could you help our audience people understand the sorts of crimes that have been happening here in Olu? Well, I don't know the details. Actually, I don't know very much about. Um, about the uh, crimes that have has, has uh, happened, uh, the police has the details, of course, and uh, mm -hmm. uh, I have to uh, just uh, stick to the information I have got from the media. Yes. So, so uh, that's the state of my knowledge. Yeah. And what information do you have? Uh, well, there are several uh, cases of uh, sexual crimes that that uh, are. In, in investigation right now mm -hmm. there are I think 16 suspects now and they uh, they have committed or they it, it's uh, alleged the, that they have committed uh, yes, yes, yep, yep. that they, they have committed uh, well serious crimes that uh, and, and the victims they are underaged uh, even uh, children well varying from 12 15 perhaps even, mm -hmm. even uh, a little bit younger. Uh, mm -hmm. 12 to 15 or mm -hmm. something like that. And 16 um, cases, I, I agree with you, I, I've read the same statistics. 16 not, 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 cases. Not, 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 not 16 cases, but... 16 uh, men. 16 men, perhaps, I, I suppose it's 9 cases and 16 men. 9 cases of sexual assault or uh, various classifications of sexual assault, which depends yes. from... Yes. Um, rape to other sexual yes. offences um, against yeah. and 16 men that have been yes. arrested yes. or charged with those offences. Yes, and at least two of them are, even of, of, of those uh, men, are underaged, uh, under 18 years. But I, that, that's, well, I don't know exactly mm. if, if uh, there no. are more than these two. Yes. Um, our um, law is uh, very strict. And when, when the alleged uh, mm. victims, they are so young, so uh, the, the crime um, labels, they, 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 uh, they uh, are very, very serious. Absolutely. And this is an ongoing investigation. Yeah. So clearly yeah. there is a lot of protection around the case and the matter. So I'm not trying yeah. to go there. Yeah. I'm looking at this more from the city hall response to what's going on. And I'm not yes. trying to... Um, you know, in any way, uh, talk about the details of the case, as I, I appreciate there'll be reporting restrictions. Yeah. But in terms of 16 men in Olu, um, could you help me understand those gentlemen? Most of them are migrants, is my understanding. Well, I suppose that there are uh, different kinds of migrants. Uh, that, that's, uh, well, public information or public knowledge, mm. but uh, some of them perhaps uh, are... Um, uh, have come here to uh, seek for uh, asyl, asylum, and and then uh, there, there are some some differences uh, where their states are. So so uh, I don't know the specific countries that they come from, and also those countries sometimes change. I think yes, yes. But they have come here to Olu to seek asylum. Typically, uh, yes. In, in uh, the main, uh, perhaps we can say that they, they are the source of uh, uh, refugees. Anyway, I don't, mm -hmm. I don't know their status. And in terms of city hall and the mayor that you represent or work for, um, I think the view very much before in Olu was that taking more refugees, asylum seekers, was a good idea. 
I think Finland as a whole was pushing to take more refugees. Is that fair? Mm, yeah, that sounds fair. Um, Finland is trying to uh, fulfill the, the obligations that we we have uh, towards the, the uh, international uh, community. And uh, well, O is uh, one of the municipalities that that uh, try to take care of of, of, of this uh, whole uh, well the. the Sort of the migrant, like share, share the migrant quota system. Yeah, yes, yes, and the yes. idea is that a certain allocation, if, correct me if you think I'm wrong, but there's a certain allocation of migrants and migrant, migrant quota, and you usually, I believe, receive 10,000 euros per head per migrant that, that any country will agree to take of that quota. Uh, well, we have this quota mm. and, and we try to uh, perform as, as uh, well, we, we have. Uh, agree with the state. Yes, absolutely. Now you spoke a moment ago about your obligation to the international community to yes. help share the migrants. I suppose, and I know that it's partly because I'm a mum, I have um, a 14 year old, a 13 year old, a 10 year old. Uh, as a mum, uh, let's just say I was a Finnish mum uh, here in Oulu, I would want to say to you, representing the office that you represent, but what about my daughter? What about your obligation to my daughter, my Finnish daughter? Why do you care so much about your international obligation and not about my child? Do you see that that's, that's that would, emotionally that would be where I would be if I was a mum here? No, no, I understand perfectly that uh, as a mum you have the obligation and, and you, you worry for your yeah. children. Yes, yeah. especially in the UK, yes, as you yes. can imagine. Uh, I'm, I'm there. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I have a uh, daughter and I'm always worried about her mm. or worried for her, mm. uh, of course. And I, I don't see how it's uh, in, in a contradiction with the, with the um, obligation uh, uh, to the international community. We have obligation for everybody. I, I think this uh, Christian um, upbringing mm. and, and the morale, the ethics, it, it, it basic it's it's based on on the fact that we are responsible for each other uh, well not only our children but i'm responsible for your children and, mm. and, and and the other children in the world so i i don't see the uh, point here of course if uh, we know that uh, there are something that causes a uh, danger to our children we have to um, find the security for them and then and, and, and be ready to find a solution. To, mm. to, to, well, I suppose uh, the to, point to, here, I understand and yeah, I, yeah, I hear yeah. you and I hear how you're saying from your perspective the Christian thing is that you have a responsibility to everyone's children but I suppose no. you say I don't see the point here. The point here is that in your town, in your city, the fifth largest city in, in Finland, which incidentally today at the airport I heard called the rape capital of Finland. That's your city. I heard called that. Just, I'm just giving you an anecdotal bit of evidence. Um, evidence. You said you don't see the point. I suppose the point is that ten-year-old Finnish children, ten to twelve-year-old Finnish children here in Oulu are being gang raped by migrants, and that is a conflict with an idea that you have an obligation to everyone's children. Surely you have an obligation to Finnish children first, yes. or is that unfair? But, but uh, this is the first time ever I heard about a gang rape in Oulu. I, mm. I never heard anything like that. Yeah. The police doesn't report anything like a gang, uh, gang uh, rape. I don't believe before I hear it mm. from the official yes. uh, reports that, that it's something it's like true. that has happened. Okay. I, you still don't believe it yet? I don't believe it. Until you've seen it? Uh, written? Sorry? Until you've seen the report? Uh, well, well, I, I, I suppose uh, this is you. You're not the source. No, for me. Absolutely not. No. Agreed. No. no. We so, agree. So uh, you you can tell me anything, and I don't have to believe it. Understood. But um, sexual assault of a minor under the age of twelve by a group of men. Are you? Are we agreed that that has happened in Oulu? Uh, I don't know anything like that happened. I know that there are several cases, but I don't know about the facts. Uh, how it has happened. I don't know. You don't know. Why don't you know? Do you uh, choose not to know, or is it you? Well, it's it's not 
available. This knowledge is not available for me now. It's, it's the police and they have their own uh, instructions what they can tell about the incidents okay. that have happened. I don't know what has happened. Okay, you don't know what's happened. No. I, I, okay, I understand your point. So the Prime Minister yesterday was quoted as saying, well, given the statistics, so I'm guessing he knows what's happened or he has a source that he trusts. It's not me, we agree. The Prime Minister has said that within the backdrop of the wider setting that child molestation in Finland is about five children a day, the numbers aren't that big. The cases aren't that... The numbers aren't that surprising here in Ulu. That seems to be a curious way of addressing a grooming gang issue in your city. Do you agree with what the Prime Minister said, that the numbers aren't that significant? Well, they are too big, these, these numbers. Five. Uh, and and, and this, is, this is a the number the police uh, has, has got. So uh, uh, all the incidents that happen are not reported to the police. So, no, so, of course. So the real numbers are even bigger, of course, I'm, I'm sure, and, and perhaps very much bigger. Uh, this five, it's 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 very big. Uh, according to these statistics, it's uh, one of twenty uh, percent, perhaps twenty five percent of 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 these uh, incidents that happen um, to the um, um, unraged or children. Um, when when we talk about this um, mm. sexual crimes. Uh, is, is uh, well, it's uh, the 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 the, uh, the persons who are who are who are yes. criminals. They they uh, they are immigrants or they have uh, some other background than than a Finn. Yes. But these four, we have had these four all the time here. It's in our culture also. We can't say that this one here, one of the fifth five, is is is. The only problem no. we have the problem with our own tradition, our own country, culture. Too. Yes, yes. And, and this is uh, this is a. Uh, Sorry, I'm um, trying to get a child. It's well, a problem I, I, in the I, I, I don't, I don't find find the right words here, but it's 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 very very it's horrible situation in Finland that we have this this kind of situation. And of course, if uh, the immigrants that, that come here even make it worse for us. Yes. So, so, so uh, it's not a good situation. No, but it's but, an argument but, I hear but, often but, from but, your but side. The, but the best, best thing here is that we talk about this one-fifth and we try to talk about also these yes. four fifths. Yes, I understand. So, so we can uh, uh, have our children more secure I after hear you. this uh, discussion. I hear what you're saying, which is that if you look at child sexual assault cases, this will be carried out by people who are non thin and four out of five will be carried out by people who are Finnish. Yes. Let us remember, though, that in Oulu, 200,000 people live here. An estimated 20,000 are migrants. And when you look, and this is the reason I was getting my phone, statistically, Afghanistanis, Iraqis um, and Syrians are massively statistically overrepresented in this area. So per 10,000 people, 138.12 are Afghanistani abusers, sexual assault, whereas in Finland, the figure is only three. So the propensity, and I can share that with you obviously, but the propensity for Afghanis, Iraqis and Syrians and actually Somalians to attack your young Finnish children, they're massively statistically overrepresented when you look at the actual numbers. So it's not actually five, is it? Because for every one gentleman that comes here from overseas, their probability of attacking a Finnish child is much greater. Would we agree on that? I don't know about this. Don't know uh, about that. This, this, okay. Um, tell me about. Let's move on. Let's tell me about what your mayor, um, City Hall, your office, are doing about the problem. Now you know you've got a grooming gang problem. I heard a lot of words, words about crisis centre, crisis reporting. Let's all see what we can do about it. Can you tell me some actions that are being taken against the grooming gangs that have made your city the rape capital of Finland? I don't know anything about this uh, grooming gang, so I don't know whether this uh, question's right here. Mm -hmm. You don't know anything? Okay, let's call them, what would be words, the 16 cases of sexual assault of minors. Let's use that phrase because you prefer it. What is being done about 
the 16 cases of sexual assault of minors that are known about? What actions are happening here? No, police is, of course, uh, investigating these uh, 16 cases or nine cases where these 16 are, are uh, alleged to have been involved. To, uh -huh. yes, yes. <laughs> Uh, and, and police is of course uh, trying to investigate if there there still exist uh, other cases that we don't know yet. Yes. Uh, now they uh, probably they don't know any other cases uh, like this right now, but. Uh,